right, good morning. All right, when you guys go out to eat, what's one of your favorite things? It's a nice finger food. It's kind of salty and hot and greasy and starchy and what? French fries. French fries, you got the first guest. All right, I have a question for you. Have you guys ever had to pay French fry tax? tax? Yeah, French fry tax? Oh, oh, my kids had to pay French fry tax all the time. You don't know what that is? Well, that's when you get your Happy Meal or your favorite little thing. And it, maybe it came with a toy. I don't know. It depends on what you ordered. But all those French fries arrive all hot and greasy and extra salt for me, please. And all of a sudden, Mom or Dad reaches across the table. That's French fry tacks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, my husband has something he calls ice cream tax. Every night he gets a big bowl of ice cream and I don't, so he puts a little extra in there because he knows I'm going to charge him ice cream tax and I'm going to sneak a couple bites. But anyway, French fry tax got me thinking. You know what? First, how do you feel if somebody steals your French fry? Do you want to share it? <laughs> we don't. We kind of go, hey, wait a minute. That came with my Happy Meal? That's mine. That's exactly. That is mine. Well, you know what? That makes me think, though. Who bought that? Oh, ouch. Mom or Dad or maybe even Grandpa and Grandma bought it. And so if they steal a French fry, is it really stealing if they bought it? No, it's not, is it? Because really, those french fries belong to them because they bought it. Those french fries all were theirs, but they were very nice to share and give them to us for us to enjoy, wasn't it? So, guess what that's going to make me think about? That's going to make me think about all of us. We have money, we have time, we have talents, and we think, oh, I worked hard all week. This check, it's all mine. I get to spend it where I want. And we stop to think about who really gave us the job, who really gave us everything. Literally, go back to Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, there was nothing, nothing but God. God made the water. He made the sunshine so that things grow so that farmers can have crops. He gave us literally the air that we breathe. So even though we think we earned that paycheck, we think we worked hard, or we think we did it, everything that we have, just down even to our basic breath and the water we drink, belongs to God, doesn't it? So when we think of mom and dad sneaking across that table and grabbing that french fry or that bite of ice cream, we need to be reminded of our own hearts that absolutely everything that we have came from God. And so we need to all, as kids and adults, be willing to share our money and give our money and our time and our talents back to God. That reminds me of a verse, and I had to look it up. I couldn't remember what this happened, but I still remember when my little boy was in Sunday school about your guys' age. He was really struggling to memorize a verse. And the first verse that came to my mind was one that we kind of made it into a little chant, a little rhythm, so that we could remember it. And it is, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. And that reminded me today. So think of that. Let's say that together. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. That was hard to say, but the more we kept going, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. And that's found in Psalms 24, verse 1. So whatever you do this week, wherever we are, if somebody steals a french fry or a potato chip out of your lunch or, or you guys just have something to share, let's think about sharing everything that we are and everything that we have with God. Did you have something to say, Nick? You want us to remember to share everything that we have? and give everything gladly back to God because he gave it to us in the first place. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for 
everything that you do give us and help us to recognize that all of it belongs to you and we should greatly and gladly give what we have and the things that you have given us to enjoy back to you with a grateful heart. Amen.